happy Monday. Say hey when you jump on. Hey Brennan, would you mind shutting that door for me? Thank you. How are you? Hi Glenn, how are you? Happy Monday. Hey Susan, how are you? Happy Monday. Did you all have a good weekend? I did. I actually had a really good weekend. Hi Vincetta, how are you? You know, I feel like I'm like squishy up here. Do I need to push you all back? Are you going to be able to see it? How is everybody? Happy, happy Monday. Do you ever wake up on <laughs> Monday morning and think, oh my God, this is going to be a long week and I have no idea why. I woke up thinking that today. Like, this is going to be a really long week. I have no reason to say that, but I did. Welcome! Is it, it is a, a beautiful day here. Well, when I say beautiful, <laughs> it is going to be 100 degrees, um, which I, I know everybody's having crazy weather, but for it to be 100 degrees already here, that's crazy, and they're already talking about you know, watching off thermostats and, you know, don't put it below 78 degrees. And I mean, that's crazy. It's May. Hi, Sally. Welcome. Every eight. Oh, good. Did you? Okay. We're going to go over just a little bit of housekeeping before we stop. I love when you all get your kits because that just makes me happy. And I love when you all post your kits when you're done. I actually have two kits right there that I'm working on for you all. Two. And they are um, red, white, and blue. And probably can do it with any transfer that you have and that's the beauty of it all right so it is Monday if you are joining for the first time please say hello let me know where you're joining from I really do want to welcome you and everybody else here will welcome you too okay it's Monday what do we have um, shipping update, nobody's waiting on anything, everything has been shipped out. I was so on that last week. Um, Pillar Stand Club, if you're in my Pillar Stand Club, I posted a poll over there for everyone who's joining this month. Um, the 21st falls on a Saturday this month, and we do the project on the 21st every month. So let me know if you want me to go live on Friday, the 20th instead. I'd be more than happy to do that. We can keep it on Saturday, the 21st. Doesn't really matter, guys, because you, you can always refer back to the video. So, hi, Mata, how are you? Um, you can always refer back to the video. But let me know, for all of you that are participating, um, do you want me to do it on Friday, the 20th, or keep it on Saturday, the 21st? totally up to you. My two other groups, it does, I, I just do it when I do it. So, um, let me know. It's all up to you guys. Okay. So what else? Club Couture. I actually, guys, I got next month's club already. And I know some of you are still, well, not still waiting. It's timing is fine, but some of you are just now getting your May transfers, I already got June. So this is a, the June transfer, y'all. Super summary. So we'll be doing some fun things. You know, I love transfers like this where I can pick them apart because that's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, so I already have June, I already have things I'm thinking about. Can't wait to see what you're going to do with your May transfer. Please, please post it over on our group 
page. If you're interested in Club Couture, it's $19.99 per month. You get three paste packets to coordinate with the design and free shipping. $19.99, it comes to your door once a month. It is awesome. It's like surprise, happy mail, once a month. Um, Chalk Couture will show you three ways to do it. They'll do a PDF for you. You'll get written instructions. There's a video. And then, of course, I do things differently and will show you a couple of different designs. If you are in my club, there's all kinds of steals and deals going on. I actually have one this week, so stay tuned. And if you join under my website, you do get a free gift from me. So if you want to know more about Club Couture, just in the comments put club and I will be more than happy to send information. And if you want information on our Pillar Stand Club, just put Pillar Stand. That's totally optional. We choose the transfer and you get to decide ahead of time if you want to join in that month based on if you like the transfer or not. If you join, free embellishments are sent to you from me. Super fun, super fun. Hi Deb, hi Jan, welcome. All right guys, I think that is it for Monday housekeeping. Does anybody have any questions? If not, let's go ahead, let's see those hearts and we will get started. Let's go ahead and see those hearts. So the one thing I'm doing today, oh, thank you. One thing I'm doing today is kind of expanding on something that I've already started. I'm not even sure, I think I've showed you bits and pieces and I'm totally not done with the first half of it yet. But um, I'm doing like 60 of these now for a baby shower. These are so not done yet, guys, because I'm doing them in stages. But these are our cutting boards. This is one of our transfers. We actually used this for the Pillow Stand Club last month, I think. I think we did. Or maybe it was for the Craft Along. I can't remember. It was one of those. But we use this, okay? So I'm doing them all one color because I'm using our chocolate chips and I found this really pretty tissue paper it's a rose color and it's got like a buttercream bee on it. Isn't that super pretty? And then all the ribbons that I'm using today are going on there as well. So I'm going to be making something for the nursery, kind of coordinating the same colors. Okay? So let's go ahead and start that. So the first thing I did, and I already started this just so it would dry, but I wanted to show you, I love Funhouse Stars. I love the shape of Funhouse Stars. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one more coat of paste on this star, because then we're gonna add glitter, okay? I have pasted before. Um, tech, all right, so I painted before. I've painted before using our paste. The key word today is hashtag twinkle. It's up there. If in the comments you put hashtag twinkle, you'll get an automated message with the Chalk Couture products that I'm using today. It's a cart link. Remember, you can add to it. You can delete from it. You can make the cart link totally your own. A lot of you already have some of these supplies. Um, but I was able to use single paste packets. They had them available. I put two in of the Marvelous color because I am using the Marvelous paste to paint the star. Okay? Um, and of course, you can do this any color, especially if this is obviously for a girl. So if you were doing this for a boy, you could um, definitely change out the colors, okay? So when you paste paint, you definitely want to water it down. I'm not watering it down too much because we're going to throw some glitter on it. 
you always want to put glitter on it while the paste is still wet, okay? So that's why I waited to do this last coat with y'all. I did go ahead and do one coat on the back just because I'm not really quite sure how I'm going to position this star yet. But it, it's this easy. So if you're always if you're looking to coordinate your colors with our paste, just use our just use our paste to paint. Okay. I want to make sure I get a good coat. Now, I did not take out pink glitter for this. I took out my fine white glitter because I kind of just want to dust it. I'm not really going to pour a lot on it. I just kind of want it to have a little bit of a, a shine to it, okay? So I'm really just using a dusting. And again, you do this while the paste is still wet. And this is just a white, fine glitter. So this way, I'm not hiding the color either. I'm keeping that marvelous color is going to still show through. Okay, I don't want it to fall. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see the sparkle yet, but once I blow it all off, I'll show you again. So I'm going to just put this aside and let it dry, okay? So the other thing, what I decided to do now is, again, in the comments, if you put the keyword hashtag twinkle, you have to use the hashtag. It's the only way it captures it. You'll get a list of the products that I'm using, or you'll see a list of the Chuck Couture products I'm using, okay? So this is a brand new transfer. I have not used this transfer yet. I was, you know what? I knew as soon as this came out that I was going to buy several of these because... I'm always doing stuff for nurseries, and I just think this one is really pretty. This would look awesome on a pillow. I'm not doing it on a pillow because I have plans for a rose color pillow already. I will be doing that live too. So, because this is brand new, you definitely want to go ahead and get a little bit of fuzz on the back lint and that just makes it easier to pull up okay it is a it's a beautiful color marvelous is a really beautiful color hi dina 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 hi sorry i can't see that far i tried hi mona welcome all right so we're just going to get a little bit of fuzz on the back or lint and I'm actually going to be doing this in two sections, okay? Normally, I could just do it all in one swoop, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Let me just blow this off so you're not um, rushing, okay? And I may add a little bit of glitter as well, I'm not sure yet. We'll see as we do it, okay? All right. So, I'm gonna put this right in the middle or thereabouts. I'm actually gonna scoot it just a little off center because I am gonna have some ribbon in the star on this side, okay? 
So you definitely want to make sure you get all the air bubbles out. You can actually hear it, okay? So go ahead and get all those air bubbles out. If you're joining us for this month's Craft Along and you purchased your star cutouts, um, I would have sent you an email saying that you're um, in for this month's craft along. I will probably, I already actually have started working on the embellishments, so those should go out probably this week sometime. We won't do that until the first Monday of June, so they'll be June 6th, okay? Also, if you, aren't joining us, that's fine. But if you are interested in the star cutouts, I would suggest you get them sooner than later because we do have a little mini sweet celebration suite coming out in July. Um, and I know a lot of people will be purchasing them then. And believe it or not, it won't be for the 4th of July, it'll be for Christmas. So um, people stock up. So if you think you might have interest in the stars, I'd get it sooner than later. Just like the bandana transfer and the stars and stripes transfer, I told you those were going to sell out and they did. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna do all the lettering in eucalyptus, okay? Then I'm gonna peel it up then we're gonna dry, I'm gonna put it back down, and then we're gonna finish, okay? Because if I do add the glitter, I only want it on the stars and the moon, so I need the words to be completely dry. All right, any questions? Dana, how are you? All right, so I'm gonna do that. I really need to not go fast because I don't want to get any of the clip art involved. I just want the words. So again, let's go ahead. Pay attention. <laughs> Usually I just do it. I love these greens. I love these greens in nurseries. Oopsie, I almost just did the moon. Now, if this was a regular chalkboard and I had an oopsie, I wouldn't be worried so much because it would be easy to come off, but because this isn't a normal chalkboard, I'm trying to be careful. but it really is easy. Okay, then I'm just gonna kind of work my way back up now and just squeegee off all the excess paste. And put it right back in the jar. I'm just pushing that paste right through that open mesh area. And you can change out the colors on this. You can do certain highlighted words, a third color if you wanted to. I just decided to use just the two colors today. Okay. All right, so 
So I'm gonna pull up. So this is it so far. And again, it's eucalyptus that we're using. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry it because we're gonna put that transfer down. supplies that we're using. Remember, these transfers are reusable up to 12, 12 to 15 times. If you really take care of them more um, and you just wash them with water. So this is just one of those transfers. It's great to have if you run into a shower. And all of the supplies I'm using will be available in the um, VIP lounge later, okay? Thanks, Dana. I know, I love sage, eucalyptus. I love those colors with pinks, mauves, yellows. The buttercream, even though we're not using any buttercream paste today, I'm going to throw some buttercream in. And I should, I'll, you know, I'll get a big piece of the... There's buttercream on the um, tag. I may even throw a tag on here. We're gonna see what it looks like. So all those colors. So this is what the this is what the actual. No, let me show it to you this way. So it's deep. So you can see it. So this is the tissue paper. Can you see the design in it? Isn't that pretty? I'm making 60 of those boards. <laughs> I just think it's pretty. All right. We are done with the green. And it's dry, so I am going to just want to make sure this isn't wet. It's not. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back down. And get it as close as possible to where it was. The good news is doesn't have to be perfect perfect because we're not really hitting anything. Super easy, right? But you want to make sure you really get those bubbles out, okay? Now, on the um, the list that I'm using today, they didn't have multi-tools. I have a bunch of these if anybody's looking for them here. So if you need a multi-tool, in the comments, just put multi-tool and I'll get back to you. I do have an inventory of these. I didn't even realize they were out of stock. All right, so now, 
A couple of reasons why I'm doing it this way is because I didn't want the paste to dry underneath and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of glitter down while the paste is still wet, okay? I could do the moon, that buttercream. just do two colors but if you wanted to add a third color you could do the moon like you know our sunny side or one of our um, lighter yellow colors all right so let's just go ahead and do all this in marvelous again if you're going to be working for with um, for a little boys nursery there's so many other colors that you could use. Navies, dark green, gray, storm. There's lots of other colors that you could use. And after you pull this up, you can always put it back down and add more of these stars in other places too. Just move the transfer if you wanted to. Okay, so just, we're gonna scrape up the excess. And then after I pull up, we're going to put that glitter down right away, okay? And that's the reason why we dried the green so the glitter wouldn't attach itself to the um, eucalyptus. So again, just barely getting some on. It's just going to like give it a little twinkle. Got to give it a little twinkle, guys. And I'm not worried about it getting on the green because the green is dry. And again, I'm doing this with white glitter, okay? You can do it with, I, I have a light pink glitter I could have used. I, I'm trying to not cover up the mauve. I want the mauve color to show through. So if, like the pink I have is more of a rose, it's a darker, and I really want this to be mauve, so that's why I, I chose the white, knowing that I'm not putting a heavy coat on and I'm using the extra fine glitter, okay? Hey Meg, how are you? So I'm not going to pick it up because there's still glitter on it, but we're just going to put this aside and let it dry, okay? And let's go ahead and wash the transfer. While that's drying. I've got like glitter all over the place. And we just wash it with regular water. It's so much easier to do it in a sink. <laughs> Doing all those um, cutting boards the other day in all black paste. Oh my gosh. I, I had sponges. Uh, everything was black paste all over the place. The sink, my sponges. Everything was just, it seems like whenever I use, I can use any other dot color and it's fine, but there's something about using the black velvet paste. I usually get it all over the place. 
All right, so we just washed with water. And I use a wet wipe. Now, our paste and our ink will stain, okay? Do not worry if your transfer is stained. I should show you the transfers I used last week. Um, don't worry if your transfer stains, it's fine. So long as you get all that paste out of the open mesh area, you're good. And then you just wanna dry it. And then after you dry it, you want to put it right back on the backer. And it will be good to go the next time you need it. Okay. Good to go. Let's shake off that star, the glitter that we put on that star. shine on it. Can you give me some hearts if you can see that glitter? All right, so there's that. And let's shake it off our board. It's super hard to see, but can you see like the moon? I'm probably making you sick, but hopefully you can see the glitter. Can you see it? All right, well, let's make it look pretty. So let's think about this. Now I have everything I'm using. I just want to decide how I want to do it. I know I just kind of want my ribbon flowing. I was going to, I, I don't think I want to do a long piece. I think I just kind of want it flowing because I got my felt balls out and I didn't put a tassel on this. I kind of just want it to hang with the ribbon. I think I'm gonna do the ribbon coming underneath it. Maybe just a little. I, I'm not gonna do a full, I'm not gonna do it this way. I think that's what I'm going to do. We can always change it. We don't like it that way. So all this ribbon is what I'm using for the cutting boards too. The 60 of them. So 
So we've got some buttercream. Let's mingle with this. Hey, Vicki, how are you? I didn't see you sneak in. How are you? How was your weekend? I might do an acrylic piece too to hold it down. We'll see once I decide how we're doing all this. I have palms if we're going to use some palms. We'll see. All right. I think I'm going to do that. And then kind of just have it coming down off the star. So let's see if that's going to work. So let's do. I don't always I don't necessarily keep the same flow going like I change it up <laughs> like I don't worry about if I'm going in the same like the same layers I used to do it and people would comment you forgot the pink or <laughs> because once you tie it all up it doesn't really matter an acrylic disc. We'll see. I think I'll be good. a little messy. We'll trim it when we're done. Just a little too big. All right, let's see. I don't even know if I'm going to use that. What do you guys think? Do you like the, um, do you like, let me know. Do you like the felt balls? This isn't straight yet, or how I'm going to do it, but tell me. Balls or no balls? That is the question. Balls or no balls? What do you guys think? If I don't do that, I might have to paste something else down there. Oh, you know what would be really cute? Like a little elephant or something. All right, balls. Yes on the balls. Balls. We always say two to win. You guys like the balls. Surprise. <laughs> balls. Okay. You guys like the balls. All right. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is... I might actually do another piece of ribbon. <gasps> I might do some buttercream. All right, so let's go ahead and get this down first. And I used all the, um, the colors that I put on here. So 
就是这样。<笑>Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll add some lace. We'll see. We will see. But I don't want it to show. Okay. So let's let that dry for one second. And then this get an acrylic bead. Let me see if I like it the way it, it falls or if I'm going to want an acrylic bead to hold it in place. But the messier the better. Too. This is actually upside down. Hmm. I might like it like that too. Upside down better. Let's see. Let's see. You don't need a disc. You can just glue it. I think if I did like that. This is just got like a little fold in it, so I'm going to cut that a little bit. I want, I actually have some charms. Charm. All right, let's see what we're going to do. Let me see if I want to put um, a little bit piece of lace. I don't know if I'm going to. Let me just see. I actually like that. Well, let me try the pink. I actually like that. Which one do I like better? Hmm. Which one do I like better? Maybe the lace. Let's just do it and then we can always add it. I 
think I like the lace, if anything, the best. Alright, let me blow this. Lace. Hi Cheryl! Claudia, you like the, I like the lace too. If I'm gonna do anything, it will be the lace. So let's see how it falls. the lace but if do you like the lace all right let's put this on for first let's see if I can use my gun if not we'll glue it I'll end up gluing it anyways Again, this is a farmhouse star. I just like them better. it guys oh no let's put some links down here it's not going that way or uh, you know what that would have been pretty too well I could still do it Because it's a girl, that might be pretty. So she's got a little skirt on. All right, guys. No, no, I like it like that. All right, one more. Let me turn it around. Totally up to you guys. Do you like, do you like the lace in the middle? Can you see it? Like that. Or do you like it? And I'll fix it at the bottom. gonna fall. What do you think? Or none? 
What do you think? Middle or bottom? Bottom. We need three. <gasps> bottom. Bottom, bottom. Flying away. I think it's perfect. Okay, hearts if you want to see it. We're done. That was fast, guys. Hearts if you want to see it. Right above the balls. Because lace belongs above the balls, right? You guys. This is so weird. When I um, counted out these balls today, I had no idea where I was putting the star yet. The fact that, I mean, where I placed that star, it like fits perfect. Seven, seven balls. Seven. Okay. didn't go through. It's perfect where it is. What do you guys think? You like it? So that's going to match all these things. Once the cuz all the same ribbons going on here. 60 of them. They kept adding. <laughs> Hi Susie, I didn't see you sneak in. Oh, thanks Dana. All right, guys, so again, if you type in the word hashtag twinkle, you'll get an automated message that will show you all the supplies that I use, the chalk couture supplies that I use, okay? And remember, it's just a cart link. You can add to it or delete from it. I did put two of the Marvelous paste packets in if you two are going to make a star. Um, but guys, you could do, uh, you could do a moon. You, I mean, you don't have to do the embellishments, right? That's me. Um, but I suggest if you have anybody who's having a baby now in the future, uh, because you know that transfer will retire. I bought two of them. Grab the transfer. This will always be a beautiful design. And the beauty with that transfer is you can do it in any color to match any room. So, you know, whatever the boys' nursery colors are, girls' nursery colors, a toddler's room, I mean, you can match, you can do this with any color. You could do this in just plain black, and it would be really pretty, too. Colors for a boy, I, first of all, I would try to match the room, but navy green any of our darker greens would be pretty storm the gray would be beautiful black um if you're doing it on a chalkboard dune the tan colors that would be really pretty um white backgrounds you could do um bark the brown with the navy so many so many colors okay guys that's all i have today 
So thank you for hanging with me. I will definitely take a picture of this and post it tonight or tomorrow. Um, if you have any questions, just message me, okay? Hashtag twinkle for the ingredients and um, club if you're interested in joining Club Couture, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much. I'm gonna clean up and get a little more work done and I, you'll see or hear from me tomorrow, okay? Love to all, thanks for hanging, guys. Bye.